I used to go for long walks with my father and, and family when I was young, and my father always made sure that we stopped at a pub at lunchtime. He, he had a skill for planning his walks, and they'd be you know, 10, 15, 20, even 30 kilometers long, but there'd always be a pub in the right place for lunchtime, and that's where I first started drinking beer. My name is Jeremy Salzbacher. I'm originally from London. I married a lovely girl here in Antwerp and we moved here about uh, 13 years ago. As you can see, I'm Jewish. We have a festival once a year called Passover, where we mustn't have any fermented wheat or barley or any other grains. So we don't have any bread, but it also means you can't have any whiskey or any beer, because they are fermented grains. And I wanted to develop a beer for Passover. I put everything together, came up with what I thought would be a nice recipe for a ginger beer. And in January last year, started experimenting. My grandfather was a uh, Jewish bookseller in London. My grandmother always used to complain that there were books all around the house. My wife complains that there are too many bottles around the house nowadays. Now we're going to go to the brewery, which fortunately is 120 meters from here, which saves a lot of time. And it's just around the corner. Welcome to uh, Belgium's smallest brewery. And the first experiments were pretty bad, but they were, showed there's a lot of potential in the flavor because I discovered a new way of how to use ginger and ferment with it. This is the regular Chinese ginger. You can see when it gets older that it gets more of a darker line around on the outside. The fresher the ginger, the better quality the beer is. We think ginger is ginger, but it's not at all. My product is gluten-free. It has no, beer, no wheat, no barley, no malt, which got me into trouble already with the Belgian of beer authorities because I can't call it beer which is why I came up with the name ginger tipple. A tipple in, in English means a uh, puncture. A nice little drink which you have on the side, but a good Flemish person picks up the bottle and he says, ah, ginger tipple. Well, basically, Jews are allowed to drink. We are taught to drink in moderation. So I don't have to uh, cross any lines religiously in order to be uh, working in the beer industry. They always say you should have your biggest competitor on the wall, and that for me is Duvel. It's a wonderful drink, and they're big, and that's where I'd like to get to. And I think we can get there. <laughs> 